Under indirect taxation, we are discussing the time of supply. If the returns are filed periodically or properly, such return when the return is filed, we consider the date. Date of receipt of the payment by supplier. Payment is entered into the book of account. The GST rate on goods is changed from 12% to 5%. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Alisa here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session six of your topic called indirect taxation. Under indirect taxation, we are discussing the time of supply. And in the previous session, we done with the topics like your forward charge, reverse charge, and in today's session, we go with the residual one. We done with your vouchers. We done with your forward charge. We done with your reverse charge, and now we are doing the residual, nothing but the remaining one. We'll go with some example questions so that you will understand better. So concept, meaning, and problem, everything we are going to discuss in today's session. So residual clause in this, in case where periodical return has to be filed. The date on which such return is to be filled. We already discussed actually this one. Again, we are a small recap of that. And if the returns are filed on date, the date on which such return is to are to be filed is considered. Then, in any other cases, the date on which the CGST, SGST, IGST, UTGST is paid. In these two, any one we can consider. If the returns are filed periodically or properly, such return when the return is filed, we consider the date. If returns are not paid properly, then the date we consider when the CGST, SG, IG, and UTGST are paid on that day we consider as time of supply. Now. The concept, the date of receipt of payment shall be the date of credit in the bank account. If such credit in the bank is after four working days from the date of change in the rate of tax. Sometimes what happens at the time of the discussion and the agreement, the rate of tax is five percent. After one week, at a time of invoice or something, your rate of tax has become twelve percent. You should go with five percent, or you should go with twelve percent. Like that kind of discussion will be cleared in today's session. Date of receipt of the payment by supplier. Payment is entered into the book of account uh, or credited in his bank account, whichever is earlier. In case of changes in rate, which one we consider as collection time? Like he has given you check on Saturday afternoon. When you have to uh, give for collection, till you have to wait till Monday. You cannot consider the date of payment is on Saturday. Why? Because when you put for collection, it takes minimum two to three working days. After two to three working days, it will credit it to. Your account. When it is credited to your account, that day we call it as day time of supply. Hope you are clear. The day which is credited to your account, that day we call it as time of supply. Now we'll go with examples. Now A is supplied goods to Mr. B on 28th December 2017. When it is supplied. 28th December 2017. The GST rate on goods is changed from 12% to 5% with effect from 1st January. See, the goods is supplied on 28th December, but on 1st January it was 12%. Now it is changed to what? 5%. Mr. A is issued invoice on. Second January. See, when the invoice is changed, first January. When the rate is changed, first January. When the invoice is made, second January. And payment is credited in his bank account on 29th December 
what is the time of supply in this case very interesting again i'll show you first one is what supply supply made when 28th december payment when payment is made payment is made on 29th december third one rate changed when rate is changed rate is changed on 1st january when the invoice is made invoice is made on 2nd january hope you are clear these are the information we have now following given have been done before change in the effective rate of tax goods supplied payment received time of supply will be date of receipt of payment that is 29th december see even though the rate is changed on january 1st before that what happened you already made the payment if payment is made means what is the time of supply in this that 29th december is your answer the time of supply is 29th december hope you are clear hope you understood out of this four we take answer 29th when the payment is made will be called as time of supply now we done with this now question b in this a supplied goods on 28 december when supply happened 28 december supply happened the gst rate goods is changed 12% to 5% when 1st january change in rate when it is 1st january mr a issued invoice 28 december so invoice made when 28 december and payment is created in his account on 30th december so payment made when 30th december see supply happened on 28th changes happened in january 1st invoice is on 28 december and payment is made after invoice is given so in this following event have been done before change in the effect rate of tax goods supplied invoice issued payment received time of supply will be earlier of the following 28 december or 30th december your invoice date or payment date whichever is earlier in the previous example the invoice is made after payment again i'll repeat the invoice was made after payment but in this situation invoice is made before payment so we should go with what when the invoice is made so 28th 28th december will be called as your time of supply hope you are clear what is your time of supply the payment date or invoice date whichever is earlier if it is made before changes in the rate now i'll go with next example a supplied goods to mr b on 28th december supply when it is happened supply 28th december the gst rate on goods is changed 12 to 5% with effect from 1st january 18 so changes in rate so when it happened 1st january 1st january mr a issued invoice on 28th december invoice happened on 28th december then payment is credited to his bank on 4th january payment 4th january now see again go with the same concept your payment date or invoice date whichever is earlier so whichever is earlier 
गुड सप्लाई इनवाइस इश्यू टाइम ऑफ सप्लाई विल बी डेट ऑफ इनवाइस ट्वेंटी एथ डिसम्बर विल बी कॉल्ड एज टाइम ऑफ सप्लाई ट्वेंटी एथ डिसम्बर विल बी कॉल्ड एज टाइम ऑफ सप्लाई होप यू अंडरस्टूड एस दीज आर दिंग्स वेन द रेट्स आर चेंज विल गो द लास्ट एग्जाम्पल नाउ लास्ट एग्जाम्पल सप्लाइड गुड्स ऑन सेकेंड जनवरी से सप्लाई इट सेल्फ लेट सप्लाई गुड्स ऑन सेकेंड जनवरी द जी एस टी रेट ऑन गुड्स इज चार्ज ट्वेल्व टू फाइव परसेंट फर्स्ट जनवरी चेंजेस हैपेंड ऑन फर्स्ट जनवरी मिस्टर ए इश्यूड इनवाइज ऑन ट्वेंटी एथ डिसम्बर when the invoice is given invoice is given 28th december and payment is credited on 30th december so payment 30th december now in the same procedure invoice date or payment date whichever is earlier so we go with what we go with invoice date we go with invoice date so invoice date 28th december has to be considered as your time of supply now so as per this 28th december considered as time of supply Line. I'll go back to all these slides. We gone with four examples. These four examples sufficient to understand if the changes in rate happened in the percentage, which one has to be considered as time of supply. Now, I'll go back to all these slides so that you can take screenshot. A residual class is just a recall or revision for you. So these are the concept. Example number one. Example number two. Example number three. Example number four. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. Please work out at home without fail. You will understand better. Thank you.